Right, grade 11, so I hope you are good. I hope you are well. We want to start on a new topic called reduction formulas, okay? But before we do that, I want us to revisit the cast diagram, okay? Uh, well, you, you would remember that we have something that looks like this. And of course, here we have 0 degrees, we have 90 degrees, we have 180 degrees, we have 270 degrees, and we have 360 degrees. So for now, I just want to revisit the cast diagram. We have proven through trick ratios how, why is everything positive on the first quadrant, why is sine only positive on the... Second quadrant, why only tan is positive in the third and why cos is positive only in the fourth. But perhaps we can use another um, way to prove that. And this time I'm going to use graphs. Okay. And immediately when you see this graph, somebody is shouting there at the back that this are what? This is a sine graph, okay? This is a graph of y equals to sine theta. So this would be 0 degrees. That is 90 degrees. That is 270 degrees. That, no, no, no. That's not 270, but that's 180 degrees. And of course, this is 270, and that is 360. Hmm. I want you to check here. If you look at this part, and, and let me try to draw it nicely. If you look at this part, it tells you something, okay? Just this, just this part. It tells you that if from zero, from zero degrees all the way to 180, what happens to sign? Sign is positive. Mm. And we can also see here that actually from 180 to 360, sign is what? Sign is negative. So from 90 to 180, sign is positive. And then, of course, from 180 to 360, we can see that sign is negative, okay? Because this is for negative and this is for positive values, okay? Right, so what have we seen? Well, we have seen that sign here, it's positive from 0 to 90 degrees, it is positive. And of course, from 90 to 180, it is also positive. And from 180 to to 270, this is where we're now at. From 180 to 270 is what? It is negative. And then, of course, uh, from 270, this is the part here. From 270 to 360, it is also negative. I think that's an interesting way of looking at it. Okay. Now, let us look at cos. I'm going to look at the graph of cos. Same situation. To look something like that. This is 0 degrees. That is 90. That is 180. That is 270. And of course, that is 360. Now, I want us to just look at that now. To just see what is happening to this graph. Okay. And, of course, we can say this is 2 and minus 2. Okay. The top part talks about the positive part. The bottom part, you can see, talks about the negative part, in case you have missed it. All right. Now, let us see. From 0 to 90 degrees, this is what we have. And it also seems that from 270 to 360, this is what we have. And between 90 and 270, it seems that this is the situation that we have. Okay. So, what can we deduce? From 0 to 90, and this is the graph of y equals to cos theta. From 0 to 90, 
uh, cause seems to be positive. From 270 to 360, cause seems to be positive. And then from 90 to 180, cause seems to be negative. So from 0 to 90, cause seems to be positive. From 90 to 270, it seems to be negative. And of course, from 270 to 360, it seems to be positive. Let us see. So we said from 0 to 90, cause is positive. All right. What about from 90 to 180? From 90 to 180, this is the part, 90 to 180, what happens, guys? 90 to 180, well, cause is what? Is negative. Well, what about from 180 to 270? It also seems that from 180 to 270, cause is what? Cause is negative. And then from 270 to 360, it is clear that cause is what? Cause is positive. Okay? So, this is what we are getting from just drawing a tick graph. You can get these relationships. All right, let us now draw the graph of tan. Zero, ninety, one eighty, two seventy, three sixty. We know we have our symptoms at ninety, and we have our symptoms at two seventy. In other words, at ninety and two seventy, tan is not defined. Mm, I wish I could talk about uh, undefined, but I'm not going to talk about that. So this is what our graph looks like. And in grade 10, you were taught how to generate this basic graph. Let us see what we are seeing here. Well, guys, it seems to me that uh, from, uh, from 90, from 0 to 90, we are having tan being positive, okay? And uh, from 180 to 270, we are having tan being negative. And then uh, between 90 and uh, 180, we are having tan being negative. And between uh, 270 and 360, of course, you can see that we are having tan being negative. So between 0 and 90, tan is positive. Between... Uh, 90 and 180 tan is negative between 180 and 270 tan is positive between 270 and 360 tan is negative okay just gonna write that in case you missed it zero to 90 we can see that we are having a positive answer 90 to 180 we can see we are having negative and uh, 180 to 270 we can see that we have positive and uh, 270 to 360, we can see that we are having negative. All right, let us put that. From 0 to 90, we are having tan being positive. And this is the graph of y equals to tan. y equals to tan theta. Tan is positive. And then uh, what about from 90 to 180? Here's 90 to 180. Tan there is what? It's negative. And then what about 180 to 270, third quadrant? 180 to 270. Um, 180 to 270. 180 to 270. Well, uh, it is positive. And what about uh, 270 to 360? We can see that it is negative. Okay. So, guys, this you can see. This is our first quadrant, actually. This is our second quadrant. This is our third quadrant. And of course, that is our fourth quadrant. Okay. So this is how we can also prove or revisit the cast diagrams. If uh, you perhaps were confused by the issue of trick ratios, how we arrive to everything, you can always uh, 
uh, it's either you can use angles or you can use values in the Cartesian plane to derive the answers. Well, here, what do we see? We see that everything is positive. Here, what do we see? Only sine is positive. Here, what do we see? Only tan is positive. And here, what do we see? Only cos is positive. So that's another way in which you can revisit the tie that um the uh, cast diagram and i hope i'm still doing well on time the other topic i wanna really revisit here it's the topic of uh, of revolutions we are just gonna look at revolutions and um i guess i will continue in the next video because i don't know how long this one is okay i wanna look at revolutions and we are just gonna look at uh revolutions from from using our cast diagram okay a revolution guys you remember it is 360 degrees okay so if it's two revolutions that is just what that is 360 plus 360 which is what 720 if it is three then you are adding plus more 360 it is four that's how you are gonna do it okay that is what we are talking about when we talk about the revolution we are talking about something uh that gives us 360 all right so whenever we start with our revolutions we always make sure that we start from zero degrees and i'm gonna need as much space as possible we all start from zero degrees we go to 90 degrees 180 degrees 270 degrees and if we go that way it gives us 360 degrees this is a revolution this is this is the um my first revolution okay and let me take out a calculator because i'm gonna need uh to demonstrate how to get now your second revolution all right let's say now we want to get our second revolution in order for us to get our second revolution, we first have to ask ourselves, how, how did we get from here to here? We added by what? By 90 degrees. From here to here, 90 degrees. Here to here, 90 degrees. And here to here, 90 degrees. Okay? So it means to you that if I want to get, it says to you that if I want to get my second revolution, this is my second revolution. If I want to get my second revolution, I will just say 360 plus 90. Okay? 360, 360 plus 90, which is 450. If I want to get this one, then I must say 450 plus 90. That is 540. And if I want to get another one, that is uh, 540 plus 90, which is 630. And then if I want to get another one, um, I will just say 630 um, plus 90, which is 720. So this 720 is actually 360 plus 360. It is two revolutions. All right. If you want to get your third, you do the same thing. You just say, okay. What is 720 plus 90? 720 plus 90, it is 810. 810. Uh, and then what is 810 plus 90? That's just 900. What is uh, 900 plus 90? That is uh, 990. What is 990 plus 90? Is just 1,082. And you can go on and on and on and on and on. So here now, how many revolutions are we talking about? We are talking about 360 plus 360 plus 360. Okay? And that is what we have. Okay? So it is three 360s and they give us that. All right? This is going to be very important for where we want to go. All right. Now, when I continue from there, 
and now look at the effects of 90 degrees and all of these things here. I want us now to suppose that we have a situation that looks something like this. Okay? What do you see concerning this angle that I drew? Well, we can see that this angle is greater than zero degrees. Clearly, it is greater than zero degrees. However, it is less than 90 degrees. Be careful. It is less than zero degrees. Okay. It is uh, less than 90 degrees. It is less than 90 degrees. Okay, it is less than 90 degrees. Okay, it is less than 90 degrees. Why am I not concerned with 360? Because I am measuring my angles for in an anti-clockwise direction. So I'm only concerned with these values. That's why I'm not looking at 360. Because I know there are those of you who are wondering, but why are you not talking about 360? The reason I'm not talking about 360 is because I am going in an anti-clockwise direction. Let us look at another one. What about now? Okay, maybe that's a wrong color to use. What about now this angle? Hmm. Well, this angle is greater than 90 degrees. Definitely. It is greater than 90 degrees. However, it is less than 180 degrees. This is going to be crucial information for where we are going. It is less than 180 degrees. Okay. Well, what about this angle? What about this angle? Well, this angle is greater than 180 degrees, okay? But this angle is less than 270 degrees, okay? Let us look at another one. What about this angle? Well, this angle... Definitely, this angle is greater than 180 degrees. Definitely. It is greater than 180 degrees. However, and then also, it is greater than 270 degrees. However, it is less than 360 degrees. Well, I am out of colors. Um, let me use purple. What about this angle here? What about this angle here that I'm trying to squeeze? Well, this angle here, it is greater than 360 degrees. All right. Did you see how I got those things? Now, let us interpret them. This is where we get our reduction formulas. Okay. For now, we will focus at two reduction formulas of interest. We'll look at 180 and we'll just look at 360. And then after that, we'll look at 90 and we'll also look at 270. Okay. Okay. Let me just bring that. So, so far, we are just going to forget about other relationships where you are having 270 and, 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 and 90. We are just going to look at 180 and 360. So, let me erase everything that is not... That is not, uh, either 180 or 360. Very important, guys. Well, here, there is no 180 or 360, so we forget about that. But this here can be interpreted in this way. This says that all angles that are less than 180 degrees exist where they exist in the second quadrant. I can rewrite this as 
180 minus theta. That's a formula there. Can you see that? This is where we get a reduction formula. In the second quadrant, we find only, we find only, we find only angles that are less than 180 degrees. Well, this, can you agree with me, can be written in this way. This, we, it says to us that in the third quadrant, we find angles, we find angles that are greater than 180 degrees. Is that okay with you? All right, good. And then this year, and uh, yeah, I think I, I, I erased 360. This is less than, this is less than 360. And here it's greater than 360. It says, if we are using an anti-clockwise rotation to measure, measure, uh, to measure angles, here we find angles. Here we find angles that are greater than 180. And here they should be less than 180. No, 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 I'm right. I'm right. I'm sorry. What am I saying? Yeah, here yeah, I'm right. 180 plus, uh, um, plus theta because it's angles that are greater than that. And then here there is no 180. I don't know why I said that. But here we find angles that are less than 360. Angles that are less than 360. So that is 360 minus theta. Okay. Here we find angles that are greater than that are greater than 360. So here this is 360 degrees plus theta. Okay. Now in the next video, I will then be uh, because I think I'm out of time, I will then be diving deep into how do we apply these reduction formulas of 180 and 360 degrees? Then after doing that, I will then get into the one of 90 and the one of 270. All right? Is that okay with you? Wonderful stuff.